Hi everyone, Susie here, coming at you today to share this really pretty heart sachet. Um, I made this for a friend. Um, I What I use for this is a, a heavy weighted felt, which I really do enjoy using mostly on smaller projects like this one. Uh, because um, sometimes using the very light muslin and you stuff it with the hyperallergenic stuffing, um, it causes it to look bumpy somewhat unless you're really careful um, using like a dowel and shredding the um, the stuffing evenly. So for this project I chose to use a heavy weighted felt and I cut the felt out the shape of a heart which you can see by my hand. It's a significantly nice size heart. Um, it can be, I call them a heart sachet, uh, but of course um, the person can certainly use it as an ornament if they like. Um, but I, the ones that I make this size and half this size smaller, I like calling them sachets. Um, and what I did was an overlay of this really pretty lace that I had gotten from my fabric store. This is so beautiful. It's very wide. And it's like a, a pale cream color, which is one of my favorite colors to work with. And um, then I used, uh, from my fabric store, this really great trim that I had bought from there. Let's keep it on one of these little wooden spools. It's a very pretty trim. It has a little bit of a pearlize in there, um, scalloping, like coiling going around it. Really very pretty. So I decided to make a sash along the center of the heart and just randomly put some scattered pearls all the way around. And then around the outside of the heart, I used this um, really great, uh, which one is it? It's this one. Uh, same, uh, same point. A really great um, Chinese braid. This is a really good quality. It's a high grade quality Chinese braid. I know you're probably saying it's all the same, but it's not, because um, you can get an, a lower grade, a cheaper grade of the Chinese braid and have lots of holes and gaps in them. And it's not pretty um, if you're sewing it to something you're going to be wearing um, or even doing a special project. So this is a little bit of a higher end grade of the Chinese braid. And I was going to show you the felt, but I can't reach it and I don't want to keep shaking the, the iPad. So, um, And getting back to my project here, I also created using silk fabric these absolutely beautiful um, rosebuds in like a champagne pink color. They're absolutely beautiful and I know she's going to love these. They're made really tight and very well. They're adhered down to the heart. They're not going anywhere. And then the, the Chinese braid is going all the way around with a little seam binding bow in the back just for closure because I have the um, the holder there, which um, the holder is, oops, sorry. The holder is quite long. I did it that way so if she wants to tie it in a bow and hang it, she can or if actually wanting to use it as an ornament, she can. And then um, lastly, I have my insignia here, um, handmade by Susie Crafter. So um, and that's really it. Just love the way that it came out. I was not going to do a video, but because I know it's a very short video and it's super early in the morning, and I just thought that I would go ahead and um, record it and show it to you. Look, I'm trying my hardest to make this thing stand, and it's not. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm fumbling around with it. But anyway, um, very happy to share this with you today, and I hope everybody is doing well and feeling fine. I know I try to be, so uh, make the best out of today. Enjoy, be happy, and I'll see you again. Bye.